Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. In the last episode we took down Rock Bottom and now we're going to go to Sand Mountains for a little bit this episode. Not the entire episode, but for a little bit. Sand Mountain, where sea creatures go to enjoy an afternoon of falling down. Squidward, am I glad you're here. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. What? You've used it before? Oh yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Fine. What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this robot mess, and now everything is ruined. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots. They've taken over the ski slopes. How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've gotta help me. I'm gonna lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation! I found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this lovely... Forget the marbles! I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Well, I don't know. It's hard to beat the extreme fun of marbles. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Now that's a deal! Alright, yeah, so I'm not gonna do all of them because it is very repetitive and it's it's not gonna take uh, Maybe I will, I don't know. We'll see how the episode goes and what happens. But um, there are a couple of things that we can go here. We're gonna head over to slope one though, because why not? But first I want to collect all the hidden specialists first. First things first, we need to become Sandy for this first one, I believe. Um, and then we need to go over here and talk to Gary, I think. Well, you don't say. Well, there must be a way up there. Yeah, so we're gonna find our way up there. I don't remember exactly how, but I think I remember. We get to go up here, and then... Yeah, you have to find your way over there somehow. And are you kidding me? It's doing this already. I don't know what's wrong with my Switch. But sometimes it just disconnects for no reason. I don't know if it's something wrong with the cable that I have or what, but it is so, so annoying. Anyways, we're up here now. I'm gonna press that button. There we go. And it activates that. Something tells me that these are the solution to the problem that we have over there. If I'm wrong, that'd be surprising. You know, it's a very weird way to get up there, but you know, it works at least. Now I just helicopter our way over and we got it. There we go. Alright, let's see if There's Gary says anything then. Yes, Gary agrees. Gary gets what's up. He's a smart guy. Alright, let's talk to Hello, my most favorite friend in the whole world. I found another golden spatula for you. Oh boy! Can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. Hmm, I suppose you could bungee down. Yeah, so we have to pay coins to get the bungee jump so we can get this one damn coin. Because why not? There we go, we got it. Look how happy it is. He just got a wedgie. A massive one. And it was all for a golden spatula. Good work, buddy of mine. And don't forget to help me out with the jump bucket. Why do I look like he had a scar on his head? I feel like something's off with the texture. I don't know if I just never noticed it before. I don't know. I don't even care anymore. Um, but anyways, we're just gonna do the first one today, most likely. Just so I can show it off. Because the, the slopes, I you know, it. they take a lot of time. Um, Mrs. Puff will also challenge you to speed run, which will reward you another golden spatula. Yeah, I don't really care. We'll skip I've this. I've gone down this hill a hundred times, usually rolling. Darn kids think it's funny to push me, but if you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Um, I don't know the way, so we're probably gonna fail. But we'll accept the challenge, because why not? I don't see what the issue with that is. Oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a bunch of slopes, and I don't remember the courses of any of them. I, and it, yeah, that's that's kind of the issue, but we will see. There are checkpoints on them too, but yeah. Not doing this that bad right now. Um, I'm actually surprised. Usually I do a lot worse. Um, saying how bad I am at the slopes usually. I'm actually, maybe it's because I have a pro controller. I think that's what it is, you know. My pro controller giving me luck. That's why I'm doing so good at this right now. Ah, uh, what? Oh, crap. I didn't realize I ran out of hearts. Or underpants. Great. 
Oh, I have to go all the way back to the beginning. Yeah, there are just so many bombs on this freaking hill. It's kind of hard sometimes to avoid them. Fell there. Great. Oh, sock, sock, sock. Sock collected. Yes. Good. I don't remember how many socks are here, but there seems to be quite a few. And we reached the finish line. I could have beat that time trial. I might try it again. We'll see. All right, let's clear out all these robots so that we can make uh, Squidward happy because, you know, he doesn't like them. Get rid of oh my god, the ice is so annoying. <laughs> Makes it so much harder to hit things. All right, that should be all of them, right? Oh, there's buttons. Okay, cool. Let's push the button. Is there another one? Yeah, there is. Of course there is. Press U. That clears out that. Nice. Okay, we reached the bottom. That's what I like to see. And there's the golden spatula again for us. Okay, I want to see if I can beat Mrs. Puff Challenge. Just because. Why not? So it looks like it doesn't spawn back any of the items. Oh, so you can do a better chance the more you go down. So that's that's kind of cheating in a way, Boy, I guess, because the items that. don't spawn back. But that's pretty cool. There's the finish line. Looks like I did it. So cool. Yeah. When uh, return to Mrs. Puff for reward. Okay. This isn't as hard as I thought it would be. I remember it being. I, I might just be really bad. I don't know. Congratulations! You passed with flying colors! I mean, I did. That's not a joke. I literally did. I had like 17 seconds to spare. Anyways, um, yeah. I think I'm just gonna do the first one for this episode. I'm not gonna like spend too much time in Sand Mountain this episode. And I think we're gonna go take on the boss. Hopefully my switch doesn't glitch on me. It's It's been doing that again. It's just so annoying. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Goodbye, Sand Mountain. I'll come back to you in a live stream when we bleh, complete all the levels. All right, let's unlock the next area. Here we go. Alright, Patrick, time to take you out. So he's gonna be constantly facing you, and then I feel like isn't new in the rehydrated version that they have the spinning thing? That seems new to me, because I don't remember it ever before. And then we just go up to him. We kick him. Literally. Haha. -ha. And he keeps trying to hit us, but he sucks. And he's gonna keep trying to get dizzy, because he also sucks. Because that's what he does best, right, Patrick? I just noticed the announcer. I don't know why I didn't talk about that last episode at all. <laughs> like the last boss fight at all. But yeah, there's an announcer oh, the and you just announced the, the announcer from the TV shows and also here. I don't know why I didn't talk about it. It's like, that's a great feature, you know, having your entire fight announced because why not? Oh, All right, one last down. hit to the back. First round is completed. Way to go, SpongeBob. You did it. And SpongeBob's frozen. Sandy going to do Great, now Sandy has to uh, fight him, because why not? Yeah, so if I just stay down here, he, d he d doesn't seem to be able to hit me, which is kind of sad. Pretty sad. You actually hit him. Oh, wait, look at this. Oh, so sexy. Look at look at him. So Okay, don't hit, don't hit me. 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 Oh, goodness. Okay. How am I supposed to hit him? Do I just have to go in for the jump? And just take it? I don't know. That's weird. I, I, I don't know. I don't One get it, but whatever. Oh, he's he's doing it again! Oh, man, he's so, so funky. Look at him. So funky looking. Okay, it gives us transports. To on so if I stay down here, it seems to be fine. And he hit me, so now he's going to just continue doing what he's doing. Great! We're just gonna stay over here. That's what I do best. There we go. Oh, he's doing it again! Ah, uh, but it broke this time. But it thawed them out. Cool. Because it's hot. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull this time. Which makes a lot more sense. Oh, this entire thing is... Okay, please don't get frozen. I need to get more hearts. There we go. Oh, well. Cool. That is not what I meant to do. We just need to like stand in an area where you cannot possibly hit us. And I feel like that's good. There we go. Really? 
Come on, hit him. Yes. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Run around, run around. Maybe if I just stand here, you can't hit me. Okay, you can definitely hit me. Great, okay. This is, uh, this is not good. And I do that. Great, I, I failed. Cool. Okay, thank goodness it just brings me back to here, full health, so that's good. Alright, here we go. Nice hit. Stay away. Ow, no, he hit me. No, no, no. Stop that, you idiot. No, no, no. Oh my god, I am so bad at not getting hit by this thing. Okay, it is definitely getting harder now. Okay, here we go, here we go. There we go. Okay, we have one more to hit. I'm gonna walk this way, see if I can get that heart. Just to, just to be safe, you know? Just to be safe. I should stop calling it hearts. I should just call it what it is, underpants. Don't know why I don't do that. Really? I didn't even hit that. What? Okay, come on. Get dizzy. Get dizzy. There we go. Here we go. There we go. We did it. And he exploded. Oof. Nice, SpongeBob. Nice. I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket security system. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, we're gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas! Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Hmm, something's fishy here. Yeah, something is fishy here. I don't know how he hasn't figured it out yet, Bubble but buddy, it's fine. I bet the next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Absolutely, SpongeBob. Super pinky shake on it? I would if I had pinkies. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy. Paying my entire salary in attention. When you're not moving, press this button and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. Wow! Aim carefully, though. You've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble-blowing machine. Yep. So we can do this now. There we go. If I press the right button. And we can hit these targets on here that I missed. Great. Let's not miss this time. Come on. Thank you. One more to the top. I mean... Well, we got three more, but we're just going to keep hitting them, because that's what we do best. Well, I do best, I mean, yeah, yeah. There we go, that's three, and that unlocks this trampoline, apparently. Where does this lead to again? Up here, and a golden spatula. Awesome. Thank you for the spatula. There's also underpants there that we can grab, so let's go grab that. Wow. Get more lives, because yes. I am one oh. <laughs> I didn't even notice that Zog was there. I literally just hit that, thinking nothing would happen, and then the sock shot up. Okay, that's funny. Mr. Krabs. What's wrong, Mr. Krabs? You don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The Krusty Krabs been overrun by a bunch of them hoodlum robots of yours. They've booted me out! And worse, they've got all me beautiful shiny objects! Defiling the Krusty Krab? Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are going to clear the robots out, get me back me restaurant, and most importantly, rescue me money! Yes, so we're gonna head into the Krusty Krab now, cause we can, finally. I feel like I should be working! Are you ready, kids? Set, go! Yeah, we're not timed on this one like we are with, um, uh, Sandy, start. so that's good. I need to find the, um, I need to find the thingy that creates these thingies because Time yeah for a little sleepy. let's destroy you first and then destroy ow okay i forgot what the best way to do this is it kind of is challenging because you got these fricker things on you all the time if we destroy this though we should be good now i gotta quickly run never mind that didn't work Great barrier reef. okay like that I thing despawned so let's just try to take this out as quickly as, po quickly as possible for the first time no i missed i missed no no Great, okay, no, that's fine. As long as I'm on a table, I think I'm safe from the iRobots, but not from you guys. Got it, so let's just quickly see if we can reach it before he hits me. God dang it, okay. There we go, there we go. That hits me, that's fine. 
At least they won't respawn now. Get our hearts back. And yeah, we're good. Yeah, these new robots with laser eyes are very annoying. Get out of here, please. And now these guys are easy to take care of. We just do this now. I miss. I miss again. Third time's a charm. Oh my god, I have terrible aim. Oh, no, we hit him that time. Okay, good. And then this should actually just take you out. There we go. And that should be all of them cleared, if my theory is correct. Yeah, sadly, we can't go into the kitchen or anything, but it's fine, I guess. And there, there's really nothing else to do in here except for collect them hearts like and coins. And yeah, that's basically it. I think we got everyone, so let's head out. All right, Mr. Krabs, let's talk to you. You had me worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. Here. Take this as your reward. Thank you for the spatula. Now we have 50, which is cool. So we can head to the kelp forest next, or we can go to the dream world next, or we, I yeah, know we can't go to the fine Dutch mare yet. So we can go to SpongeBob streams or the kelp forest. I think we're gonna go to the kelp forest first. I don't really like the SpongeBob dream world. So I'm gonna try to stall it off as much as possible. Simply because of that. That is literally the only reason because I just don't like that world. But yeah, so I think we're in this episode off here then. I don't really know if there's much else I can do right now. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Great Barrier Reef!